Hello everyone. Why does that not seem as bright now? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It was all, I think it's because it's getting dark very fast. Okay. Today's Tuesday, June 13th. I'm sorry I didn't have a video for you guys yesterday or today, but I think I said before, if I go more than two days without a video, or I said I'd never go more than two days without a video unless I let you guys know. So I will get a video up today. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't eat hot dogs very often. I was in the mood for hot dogs. Um, I probably haven't had a hot dog since July 4th cookout last year. <laughs> so that goes to show you, I don't eat them very often. Um, and I am picky with my hot dogs. I only get, um, I will only get and I'll only eat Hebrew National Beef Franks. No artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no fillers, no byproducts, no gluten. So yeah, even, even when, um, I think all of my family buys these now, but in, I still always make sure like, I'll be like, are those Hebrew National hot dogs? And if I don't see the packaging, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm always like, where's the packaging? I wanna see the packaging. Someday, if any of my family ever does a video with me, they will tell you how picky I can be. So I got the Hebrew National, I'm just gonna have two hot dogs and I'm just gonna cook them. I don't have a grill, so I'm just gonna do them in the stove, in the pan. Then I got some, Pepperidge Farm Sweet and Soft Top Sliced Hot Dog Buns. And I just put um, ketchup and mustard on my hot dogs. I do like them um, um, when I do have hot dogs, which is rarely. <laughs> um, I do like them with sauerkraut too, but I don't have any sauerkraut. Or if I make my own chili, sometimes I'll use leftover chili and put it on. But yeah, I haven't had a hot dog. I don't have them very often. And then I just got some Bush's baked beans. I got country style, thick rich sauce with bacon and extra brown sugar. But I don't eat the bacon that's in here. I'll pick it out. <laughs> so let's get started. And then I bought some fruit today. I only, I'm on a budget. And I spent, see, this is why I hate going to the grocery store because I only wanted to spend like 20 bucks today, but I ended up spending like 43. So now I only have enough for gas until Friday. That's all I got left <laughs> after I paid all my bills. So, but that's why I hate going to the grocery store. So yeah, but I did buy I bought a pineapple because they were on sale for like $2.99 and then I bought a pack of blueberries which I already rinsed off over here. Um, so I'm just going to put those two together with some honey. Actually the bacon's sitting right on top, that's good. I can just pick it out. So this is not the fruit, but I think I told you guys a while back that I love summertime because I love fruit. Um, and I mentioned that I was going to do this recipe that I make with fruit. Now obviously it won't be today because I only have three of the ingredients, which is the honey, the... Oh, I don't know why I put lotion on my hands. Because it comes right off like five minutes later. But yeah, um, so hopefully soon I'll be able to get all the fruit I need to make that. 
But in the meantime, I was in the mood for pineapples and I love blueberries. So I'm just going to mix the um, pineapples and the blueberries together and then just put honey over it. And then that will be my snack later on today. So how are you guys? Seems like I haven't been here forever. I was making my iced tea today. That's what that pan is back there. I'll do once it's all ready I'll end this video and then I'll record a new one where I'm eating so for my hot dogs I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter into the pan yeah see it's impossible for me to put lotion on because I swear, as soon as he hears, he was upstairs sleeping, and as soon as he hears me talking, he has to come down and see what's going on. I don't think my air conditioner has shut off today. <laughs> been in the 90s yesterday and today really really hot but I don't mind I still prefer summer over winter I better just triple check to make sure this is recording yes okay oh, I have my bag ready I'm just going to get two hot dogs out. But yeah, these were on sale. The hot dogs were on sale. It was, they were two for seven and they're usually like almost five bucks, I believe. Or four something, four seventy maybe. I'm like, well, since they're two for seven, might as well. And then I'll just freeze the other pack. But now, since I spent all my money today, <laughs> I may possibly have hot dogs and the rest of these baked beans tomorrow. Because that's about all I have. My daughter came. My daughter came to visit me Friday until yesterday. She left yesterday. So I ended up spending money when she was here because I had to get food and I love when she comes to visit me. I just spend more than more than planned, more than than what was in my budget. So I just make, I just cut them just a little bit. And then I just make some little lines. I don't know why. It's just what I do. 
Oh, and then I also bought today, I bought bacon and mushrooms. Bacon, I always get it's the uh, uh, so I just got um, baby bella mushrooms and I got that Coleman natural bacon. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe I'll do it actually, maybe I'll do it tomorrow and then I could just. I could eat hot dog. What's today? Tuesday. I could. And then I'm just going to put these in the pan just like so. I probably could have used a smaller pan. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just go from one thing to the next. Um, I still have that extra pizza dough my freezer. It came with two pizza doughs. So I'm going to make a pizza again and I'm going to use, I'm going to put bacon and the mushrooms on top of it. And then I got two more of the mozzarella cheese. So I just got two mozzarellas. So I probably, I don't know if I'll record a video of me. Well, maybe I will because, what the heck. But then I'm mad because when my daughter was here, she cooked, she cooked um, breakfast. She made um, breakfast burritos. What day was that, Sunday morning? So I, we had gone to the store because I had to get bacon. Uh, what else do we get? at the store. Oh, she wanted 2% milk. I keep telling her the coconut milk is awesome. She did use the coconut milk. She made some uh, cheddar broccoli noodles. And I think she used it in that, but she wanted cereal and she didn't want to use coconut milk in her cereal. I love coconut milk. I only buy coconut milk. Um, so yeah, she made breakfast burritos, which were so good. We used um, burrito, the tortillas, um, the soft tortilla, tortillas, tortilla, whatever, tor whatever. Um, eggs, she put, in the eggs she put mozzarella and some cheddar cheese and bacon. And, oh, and potatoes we bought, we just bought the store potatoes. They were like cut up potatoes and it had onions. They were frozen, they were in the frozen section. It was cut up potatoes, it had onions, green peppers, red peppers, and she put that inside too. It was really, really good. Um, so yesterday, I didn't record a video yesterday because I just ended up eating. I just made myself some eggs and then I used the rest of the potatoes and made myself some hash browns. But then I was mad because I was gonna, do another because I love breakfast food and um I was like well since I'm not going to use that whole entire bacon on the pizza I can use a couple strips and I'll make myself those potatoes eggs and bacon sometime this week but then I forgot the potatoes today so anyway all right so before I get too off topic um I'm just going to show you guys Crap. Oh, that was just a pack of oh, that was just a package. Never mind. I thought I mixed. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we just take a bowl. Well, I don't want to do that yet. So I'm sorry that I get off topic a lot. We're just gonna take our pineapple. This is a dull pineapple. Tropical gold. And we're just gonna cut the top off. Like 
Mm. Smells delicious. Ooh. See, the way you know a pineapple is ready, the lighter it gets. It might be hard to show on the camera. But you know, they can be like dark green. You want to try to get a light one. One that's starting to already. And then mm, you can smell it. The smell comes through. This is my first pineapple, though, of the season. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. And then here's my blueberries that I have already rinsed off. My blueberries. Yum. So now we're just going to, I'm using my core thingy. Hopefully this. I think this one broke. Too. I had another one break last year, and I thought this one was starting to break too, but we'll find out. So you just sorry, I don't want this to burn. Looking good. So you just push that down onto the core thingy. And then you turn and get, I knew that was going to happen. And then you get pineapple juice all over ya. juicy like this as you're twisting it I just pour the juice into there because it's delicious this one seems like it's kind of and you just turn this And you'll know when it's done because it'll just turn real easy. And then you just bring it back up like so. And then I always squeeze it. Sometimes you get little pieces of the pineapple. You can just pick it out. But I always squeeze it to get all that juice out. Yum. can't wait until I can make the other thing. Absolutely delicious. Okay. So then, sometimes you get little pieces of the pineapple like the hard shell and I just wipe it off like that because I don't like to eat it. Sometimes you'll get little pieces of the um, outside, um, what is it, shell, I guess. Start 
And then if there's any, you know, pieces of the pineapple shell, I'll just cut it off. And you can make them a little bit smaller if you want. Which I don't mind them. I don't mind them on the bigger side. you guys had a good weekend. I thought about possibly recording something with my daughter, but we just kind of relaxed and chilled and didn't do much of anything. <laughs> Which is good to have those days once in a while, you know. She <laughs> She baked a cake, she baked brownies. Then when she came, when she came Friday, um, I still had, I had a little bit of that pork adobo left. So I made her some more jasmine, the jasmine rice and heated up the rest of that pork adobo and she loved it. burning my hot dogs. I like when this sits for a little bit. So that's another reason I wanted to do it now because that way it'll sit for a little while. And then I can have some before I go to bed. Yeah, normally when I make that other thing I was telling you guys about, the other fruit thing, I usually buy two tomatoes and then two packets of the uh, blueberries, or one big pack. I love pineapple. chop my fingers off. <laughs> that would not be a good thing to do. I've got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. So yeah, there you have it. Now let's hope my hot dogs didn't burn. One thing about my daughter. Love her to pieces. But let me just tell you. What she cooks kitchen is a mess, literally. Literally. I like to clean up as I go. Well, she's the complete opposite. That child makes a mess. Looking good, looking good. So now we have our, I think, didn't one of that, a little bit of that pineapple off, touched. I don't want it to be sticky. You guys know how I am with sticky stuff. You 
You should have saw my daughter's room. Her room was spotless before she arrived. I had to tell her, I said, before you leave in the morning, clean your room. So yeah, so we, I just cut the pineapples up. Well, I see a little piece of the show. I'm gonna have to get out. Just cut the pineapples up. And then, lost it. And then we're just gonna dump the pineapples into here. Yeah, this is usually, this bowl is usually full. And then we're gonna take our honey. I just got, a, I tend to typically get this honey. I mean, I, I try others throughout the season, but I tend to always go back to this one. Plus this one was on sale, it was like seven bucks. Sit something. And now we just pour some honey over it. I couldn't tell you how much. This was a brand new bottle, so I can show you the bottle after. So I just poured honey on there like that. It's probably hard to see. And then I'm just going to let it sit. I'm going to put it back in the fridge. And then probably like an hour or so, I'll stir it. That's all you got for that. That's it. I'm going to put this down just in case it might happen to be a little sticky. I wiped it, but so that's all. So this is how much, that's how much I used. All right. And I think we're ready to eat guys. Actually, I'll show you guys. And then I'll end this video and save it. And then I'll be back to eat it. There's the hot dogs. Ooh. They smell good. Don't mind my dirty stove, I gotta clean it. And then we got the big beans cooking in there. Hot dogs and beans. All right, and that's a wrap. So I'm gonna save this video. And then I'll be back in a flash to eat it. But anyway, I'll post this video tonight, Tuesday. I'll have to upload it when I'm done eating. It's going to be late, but you'll get a video today. And then uh, the video of me eating this will be posted tomorrow, Wednesday. All right. That's all I got for you guys for right now. I'll be back shortly. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching this episode of Cook With Me. No, this episode of Cook With Me. All right, bye everyone. Be back in a flash.